Hello friends, it's Suzanne here. Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my blog and YouTube channel. Today I have this awesome little project to share with you. And before I forget, all the supplies I'm using to make this project are listed in the description bar below with links to the online store as well as a direct link to this project's blog post where you'll find all the details you need to recreate it. So I'm calling this the mini gift box and you can see how I attached the ribbon but I didn't really like it because it was a bit finicky. So I'm going to use a magnet but if you don't have a, a magnet to close the box up with, you can do this. But anyway, so this is going to be the drawer and I'm starting off with a four and a half by a four and a half square. This is pool party. Um, and I'm going to score at a half of an inch and one on all four sides. I always find the half inch a little bit hard to score. I don't know why. Maybe because my fingers are big. Whoops. Third time's the charm, maybe? <laughs> All right, it skipped. There we go. What's going on? Well then. Okay. So that is four and a half by four and a half scored at a half an inch and one on all four sides. And then the outer pocket um, is, let me think here, seven and one sixteenths by three and five eighths. And on the long side, I'm going to score at one one and a half, four, and four and a half, and then a half an inch on this side, and I'm just going to turn around, it's going to be easier, half an inch on this side. And this is Whisper White Thick that I'm using here. All right, so that's all the scoring that we're going to need. And now to fold and burnish those creases, those score lines. This is a tiny project. It's just good enough to hold a piece of chocolate or a pair of earrings or you know, a little treat. Okay, now I'm going to take my little snips and I'm going to cut a little wedge here all the way up to that second notch and or second score line and then I'm going to wedge that out. And then on this side I'm going to, I mean what I'm avoiding doing is making two lines here but or two cuts, I should say. So, wedging. All right, so 
you have something that looks like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other. So I'm angling it here and angling it there. Okay. So I'm going to leave that to the side and then I'm going to do this one. So all I'm doing is the exact same thing. You've probably seen me do this a million times before. Just wedging it out. All right. And then when you come to this part here, we're going to take these two bits completely off. And I forgot to bring out my punch. I was so happy to get my package that had all my nice brand new papers in it. That was lovely. I'm just going to round the corners now before I forget. I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to put um, a little adhesive on let's see the inside flap there and the inside flap so I'm just turning it over and then I'm going to take my adhesive and run it all the way along this side and all the way along this side Okay, so that piece is going to get, hang on, stuck, yes, to this side. And then this, the whole adhesive part, is going to get stuck together. So that's the little container that which holds our um, little box. And I'm going to take this paper. Oh, and you know what? I completely forgot where I got this from. Serene. I forget the names. Okay. So this little piece is uh, two and three eighths by seven eighths, and this little piece is two and three eighths by two and three eighths. Now, I'm going to put the magnets on first. So before I put decorate these little guys, I'm going to get these little magnets. I've had some interest in where I got these from and they're super thin little craft magnets, super thin little guys. And look how powerful they are. Hey, but, um, they're not terribly like super strong. So they're really good craft magnets spider magnets okay so i'm going to take a little glue dot
and I'm going to stick it on the back and I'll just put the oh I wanted to put it on the front actually so magnet on the front okay now I'm going to put my little strip of paper and cover the magnet and then I'm going to put the other magnet there and a little glue dot on that one. I'm going to close the lid just perfect and then when I pull that away that little magnet's going to be hidden and then I'm going to put the paper on and Cricut of course So that closes a lot better than the other one, which had a ribbon on it. Okay, so now for this, basically this is going to go in like such, these little tabs, and that's the reason why I didn't um, cut them, because it just gives it extra strength. And then this is going to be folded down, and this is going to be folded down. So we're going to put fast fuse on all of these little tabs and then I'm going to put fast fuse on the outside okay so the sticky part of this guy goes down and you're going to line it up I like to put the glue on first everywhere but that means that I'm going to get a little sticky So this is just like an open box. And I only wedged two sides and not all of the sides. Okay, and I'm going to press it all down, making sure. Okay, moment of truth. Ta -da. All right, I have just a little bow. Cute as cute can be. I just doubled up on the Whisper White Baker's Twine. Right in the center. So cute. So a teeny tiny little box that would be perfect for housing a Ghirardelli chocolate square, of course. And like I said, you can do this if you wanted to punch two holes in the lid to tie your twine through or ribbon and then you kind of have to capture the sides like that and capture the sides like that. It will stay closed if you wanted to do it in that method and there's going to be a little string around it. 
Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me, kids. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On the screen are two more videos for inspiration. To see a picture gallery of all my projects, stop by my blog. Thanks again for watching.